The International Organization for Migration warns the Sudan's displacement crisis is growing worse as the number of people fleeing fighting, hunger, and sexual abuse escalates. IOM Director General Amy Pope, reporting from Port Sudan, says 11 million people now are uprooted from their homes, and more than 3 million refugees have fled to neighboring countries. Lisa Schlein has the story. The war in Sudan, the world's largest displacement crisis, has uprooted more than 14 million people. The International Organization for Migration says 11 million have been displaced inside Sudan. This, says IOM Director General Amy Pope, is up by 200,000 just since September. Speaking from Port Sudan, she tells journalists in Geneva the number of people who have fled across borders as refugees has increased to 3.1 million. She says more than half of those displaced are women, and more than a quarter are children under the age of five. Unfortunately, many of them have been forced to flee repeatedly. They have little access to shelter, they have little access to livelihoods, and getting their basic needs met has been very, very difficult. The scale of the displacement and humanitarian needs are growing every day. Frankly, half of the population now needs help. People don't have access to shelter. They don't have access to clean drinking water. They don't have access to health care. Pope warns disease is spreading fast, as is hunger, with one in every two Sudanese struggling to find enough food to survive. Meanwhile, the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk, condemns the escalating hostilities in Al Jazeera state, which he says is worsening the risk of attacks against civilians. His spokesperson, Saif Magango, says the rapid support forces reportedly have killed hundreds of people amid widespread looting in this region. He says the RSF also reportedly has detained and ill treated civilians from targeted villages. Further, there are reports of burning of crops at a time when over 25 million Sudanese are facing acute food insecurity because of the ongoing conflict. Destruction of crops in a region considered the country's breadbasket can only exacerbate an already catastrophic situation. He says thousands of families reportedly have been displaced from Al Jazeera state because of the violence, adding to the already dire displacement crisis in the country. High Commissioner Turk is calling on leaders of both the RSF and Sudanese armed forces to promptly take measures to de escalate the situation and to stop rights violations by their forces. Lisa Schlein for VOA News, Geneva. A Tanzanian High Court on Monday dismissed a petition by three citizens challenging the government's supervision of this year's local government elections instead of the Electoral Commission. High Court Judge David D. Nguyenari, sitting in Dar es Salaam, said another law was required to shift the oversight role of the civic pose from the Ministry of Regional Administration and Local Governments to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Justice Nguyenari added that the absence of the separate legislation supporting the main law establishing INEC which was in, endorsed by Parliament in February this year, meant that Tamisemi still held the mandate to supervise the election as in the previous ones. Under Clause 10 of the new law, the newly constituted INEC is responsible for organizing, coordinating, and supervising the local government elections. The clause also calls for a second law outlining guidelines for INEC to follow in fulfilling this responsibility. The petitioners Bob Chacha Wangui, Bube Rakaiza, and Dr. Ananile Yancha had added that nowhere in the new law is it stated that in the event of the supporting law being pending, Tamisemi would supervise the polls. Justice Nyangare asserted that Tamisemi would remain in charge until Parliament passes the other law. Interest in the case had grown in the past few weeks as the preparations for the civic elections got underway against the backdrop of opposition claims of rigging in the voter registration process to give the ruling CCM party an early advantage.
Tamisemi, which operates under the president's office, last week published figures showing that a record of 31.28 million Tanzanians had registered to cast their votes in the November 27 polls against a total population of 61.4 million, according to the 2022 national census. There have been widespread claims of the register being padded with ineligible voters, including persons known to be deceased and school children under the legal voting age of 18. The elections cover chairpersons and councillors at Ward Street and the Hamlet levels and is seen as a litmus test for next year's general election involving the presidential and parliamentary seats. Even before the voter registration controversy came to the before, many opposition parties, Chadema and Acti Wazalendo, raised strong queries regarding the delay in tabling before parliament of the law allowing INIC to take over the ruling of the civic polls in the time for this year's elections. Monday's court decision added flesh fuel to another long-standing debate about the overlap between Tamisemi and INIC and how it could impact Tanzania's electoral processes. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.